breast out. They're not as tight, but you can see that the curls are definitely still there. I would say this hair, this hair touches like my little butt. Guys, so this is pretty much what the wig looks like now that I've kind of brushed out the curls a little bit and got it to my liking. So as you already know from the name um, and the title, this is the Trissa wig. It is by Sensational. Um, this is a part of their Empress Lace wig collection. Um, all you can do with it pretty much is a middle part like I showed you guys the inside of the cap construction. Um, but that's perfectly fine with me because I think this looks really uh, bomb as a middle part. Um, but it has a deep middle part. The part goes like until back here. So that's plenty of parting space that you can see. At least it doesn't stop like three inches or something because that's kind of annoying when wigs have like teeny tiny parting space. But yeah, these curls on this unit are just absolutely to die for. They are just so bouncy and voluminous and just... I'm just all here for it. Um, I will have how much I pay for this wig either on the screen or in the description box. This is definitely one of the most um, or one of the more affordable wigs. If you're in the neighborhood shopping for a new wig, it does have combs in it. Um, I always cut my combs out. I never use them. I feel like they just kind of pull on your hair. I don't think that anyone would need to use them. I would say that this is big head friendly as well. Um, I just left it on with the adjustable straps were already set on. I didn't go in and make them bigger or tighter or looser. I just left it on and it fits pretty snug. Like it's not going anywhere or anything like that. Um, you could totally customize this if you wanted to and add like, um, pull out some baby hairs, but I'm just going to kind of leave it as is. I might go in and do that like later or something, but for right now I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks on its own own so yeah a close up on what the hairline looks like um there it is there looks pretty darn good it's nice and full like i said you could go in and take out some baby hairs if you wanted to to just customize it and make it your own even more but i'm just going to kind of leave it alone i did go ahead and get this hair in a 1b as well i'm not sure if i mentioned that or not and i did get this wig from wigtypes.com i tend to order all my wigs from wigs type um, dot com if I'm going to get a synthetic wig. Um, the shipping, it takes a week, um, unfortunately, but that's just what it is. I don't know about the other wig companies. All I can speak for is wig types, but the shipping did take about a week. Um, exactly, five days to be exact um, for that. And it can package real nicely and all that stuff. Of course, it comes with like a hairnet and you have to um, cut the lace off, which is really, really easy, really simple. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just like so in love with this wig, you guys. I like thing that I can say about this wig because it kind of is like a longer length wig you probably can expect to get a little bit of tangling maybe from the nape area um once this wig starts to wear out and get old but for right now I haven't really experienced um any tangling I'm able to just run my fingers still with no problem um and all that good stuff and that it might just be a personal preference but there's some people that might want to flatten this out because there's like a lot of volume up here at the top if you guys can um tell so it just might be your personal preference to have it big and bouncy like this or if not you can definitely go in and take a um what is it called a wand curler or the curling iron and then just flatten this out to get it how you want it to be but i'm perfectly fine with how it is looking at the top so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, you guys can always leave them down below. But I can probably tell that this wig is going to definitely be like a low maintenance wig. You really don't have to do much for it. Like the curls speak for themselves. Like you don't even have to touch them. You can just like put the wig on, finger comb them out just a tad bit, and then you're basically good to go. So all you guys, I would definitely recommend this wig for anyone who's out there looking for a bomb, affordable, synthetic wig. This wig is just absolutely amazing. Like, I have no complaints about it. Um, I'll probably try to wear it in the side part, um, like, sooner or later. But for right now, I'm just totally cool with this middle part that it has. Um, so, yeah, and if I didn't already mention it before, this is just a little uh, disclaimer. I did pay for this wig with my own money. This wig was not sent to me. This is my honest opinions about this wig. Um, I'm just choosing to share it with you guys because someone left a comment on one of my videos asking for me to do a, like, um, wig collection type video. So, um, I'll either try to do that or just, like, post every wig in a separate video on its own. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But definitely this is not the last of my synthetic wigs little series that I want to be I'm bringing to you guys on my channel here. So I will leave a link down below in the description box for where you can purchase this wig at um, or where I got it from. Like I mentioned, it's from wigtypes.com. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.